on my time on the one sea, I have encountered pirates and treasures. But this week was unlike any other. It was double rewards week. During this week, lots of tiny little cool things happened that I can't exactly just throw into a 10 minute video about it. So I've decided to share this compilation of cool things that happened during this double rewards week. I didn't record that day, so I'm going to introduce Rye the Great Skycam. So, I spawned at Daggertooth Outpost, collected supplies, and an Ashen Wind spawned over at Cannon Cove, and I wanted that loot for Gold Hoarder Day. So, I sailed over there, and started whittling down the boss. After I did so, however, there was another ship sailing over towards Cannon Cove, and I raced back to my ship, and I got the jump on them since he didn't know I was there, and started firing my cannons. We ended up sailing away from Cannon Cove, and towards New Golden Sands, where we both rammed the island and sunk. I ended up coming back from who knows where to go finish the boss and grab his ashen loot. After whittling down the boss's final third phase, I ended up getting the Ashen Wind Skull and selling the loot. I started off the session getting multiple commodities to sell to other outposts for high profit. Turns out we need to sail towards Daggertooth Outpost to sell our commodities for maximum profit. But then, I saw a few things floating out in the water. I didn't know what they were, but if they were to help me, I would grab them, and I swam over to them. But, it turned out to be just two pig crates and some storage crates with okay supplies. With this mystery still unsolved, I set sail onto the Sea of Thieves to go to Daggertooth Outpost to sell my commodities there. After looking at the profitable list for all commodities at different outposts, I came to the decision I needed to go to Plunder and then Galleon's Grave. But then, the waters turned an inky black and th the Kraken came up on us. Rare's fun detection system never misses. Luckily, the Kraken slapped my ship so many times that it actually got out of his attack range. So, I sailed over to Plunder Outpost to finally get this commodity run done. I started harpooning my newly bought crates of broken stone and did a long sail over to Daggertooth Outpost, where I sold all of my old crates of unfiltered minerals to th the chief trader there. Then, I sold all of my crates of broken stone to the trader at Galleon's Grave Outpost. <laughs> I started my session digging up worms at an outpost and getting supplies from the barrels. Then, I set sail towards Crescent Isle to find a rowboat. I ended up finding a cannon rowboat on Crescent Isle and a fruit crate filled with some good fruit. And then, I went fishing near the sea fort. Now I'm not going to conjure content where there is none. I'm not showing you the entire fishing session, but here's my last catch of the day before I went to sell. Then I cooked the fish and sold them.
after that disappointment, I hosted a fireworks show to end my suffering. On our way to the Ashen Winds, a sloop completed it. We fired onto the sloop, and we ended up sinking them in due time. After we sank them, we collected their supplies and gotten a bunch of supplies from them. They did have default stuff, but default stuff is still good. And then we went to the island that the Ashen Winds was on and noticed an absence of an Ashen Wind Skull. Very interesting. Perhaps they buried it and threw away the map bundle. But mysteries aside, we ended up coming out victorious in that scuffle. After that, I went to a sea fort to level up my emissary flag, and I saw a ship out in the distance, but he seemed anchored, so I didn't- I left him alone. But then, another ship came. They were Reaper Fives. They were here for loot and just the thrill of combat, which I was going to give them, but soon I was going to deny them of that, and they are going to get very mad. And you see, they're shooting themselves out, but they have never boarded my ship even once. They were very mid at naval combat. Hey, hey, do you hear me? Can you hear me? Or if you don't have a mic, it's fine. Do you want an alliance against this Reaper emissary that's causing us both grief? 
Thank her if you want an alliance. If he shoots at me. No, he's not. Okay. He doesn't care. Nope, he, they're turning that way. Okay, got it. He's doing ever so slight turn. It's not gonna hit. Is that hitting? <laughs> they really do not like me anymore. You know, you shot at the wrong order of souls player. I'm gonna I'm gonna I know I'm gonna get um I'm gonna get sunk you have anyway. A in God I'm, I'm not gonna get I'm gonna get sunk either way, but I'm gonna make it as hard as possible for you to do it. Yeah, I'm telling you, bro, you're in a <laughs> He's like, dude, your skin is so seeable, but, like, I don't care. <laughs> After that, I did a well-placed anchor turn to turn back to Plunder Outpost so that I could sell my very minimal, actually, loot on board. After selling my not-so-plentiful loot, I checked on the Reapers, and they ended up going after a Reaper's bounty. So I server hopped off the server, and I went to another server. But that tale will have to wait for another day. You sail the seven seas, he take on all the merchant ships and bring them to their knees. Grog mails, grog mails. Black heart to the core Grog males, grog males